Kenya under the heat of the sun lies another of Kenya's gems. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Samburu National Reserve. My name is Al Jose Akamaru and I'm a guide at Mufasa Tours and Travel. Uh, today we are at the Samburu National Reserve. Okay. This is the entrance behind us over here. Uh -huh. And the Samburu National Reserve is uh, located in the northern part of Kenya. Okay. Um, and the size of a Samburu National Park is now 365 mm -hmm. uh, square kilometers. Distance from here to Nairobi or either way from Nairobi to here mm -hmm. is roughly 340, 345 kilometers. So roughly how long will it take to get here? Five and a half hours depending on how traffic will be. What are we expecting today? We have so many things we are, so we are, we are expecting today, mm -hmm. but the main are the Samburu 5. Samburu 5? The Samburu 5, that okay. is the main thing. Now if you want to find out what the Samburu 5 mm -hmm. Are stay tuned. Stay tuned. Right. Okay, let's go. One of the most exciting things about Samburu National Reserve is its unique wildlife, especially a special group of animals known as the Samburu Five. So the Samburu Five are uh, the the gravel zebra. We have uh, the reticulated giraffe. We have the basa oryx the Jerenuk and Somari, uh, Somari raised ostrich. These animals are rare and can only be found in a few places, making them a highlight of any visit to the reserve. So the reason behind us having the Samburu 5, those are the animals that have uh, adjusted themselves and uh, living in very hot conditions. That is uh, the equator and above the northern part, of, uh, northern part of Kenya. Each member of the Samburu 5 has its own fascinating characteristics contributing to the diversity of this incredible ecosystem. The Grevy Zebra. The Grebu Zebra is uh, also one of uh, the special Samburu. It's more bigger than the normal zebra or the common zebra that we have. Actually, when you look at the Grebu Zebra, uh, they have very thin lines, very, very thin lines. And the, the belly part of it is more white than the black or maybe compared to the common zebra. Oryx. This oryx is uh, one of uh, this, uh, the, special, the special five of our Samburu. So um, they are normally found uh, on the other side of the equator, that is on the northern third side of Kenya, especially in Samburu National Reserve and uh, Buffalo Springs on the other side of uh, uh, the reserve as well. And uh, they kind of like, they like a habitat that is dry the northern part of Kenya. For the males and females they have horns but for the males they have they are heavier bit than the female. Both males and females they have horns and those horns they are so long those are big weapons hmm, for protection in case of some predators maybe trying to kill them. Now this is uh we are very lucky because we have uh, seen at least that uh, we have uh, some two oryx over there the mothers with there with their kids over there. The Cherenuk is um, also another one of the Samburu, a special Samburu, uh, the Samburu 5 actually. They are also found in, uh, in habitats that have, uh, have high temperatures, the northern part of Kenya, right? And uh, another name for the Cherenuk is the giraffe gazelle because it has a long neck, a very long neck with a very tiny head and very big ears. Somari ostrich, Somari, Somari ostrich, um, Somari ostrich. They are characterized by uh, the, the the bluish, the bluish or the grayish bluish color on the neck and their thighs. Very rarely seen, only found in the northern part of Kenya. The males are black with white tail feathers, and for the females they are gray. Uh, they are grayish, brownish in color. Ostrich, they do feed on various types of uh, 
brains and some shoots and all that and at least I'm making it easier for digestion by eating some pebbles to kind of like make the digestion easy. The reticulated giraffe. Uh, the reticulated giraffe has um, the color varies from a brownish orange patterns separated by a very clear white line and uh, the reticulated giraffe is the tallest animal on the planet. As it is in every park or reserve, there is always something that makes it different and stand out from all the rest. Now for Samburu, the Samburu 5 is it. However, that is not the only thing that makes this park unique. Samburu National Reserve is not just home to Samburu 5. It's steaming with a diverse range of animals. Elephants roam freely along the bank of Iwasanyuro River, while predators like lions, leopards and cheetahs silently stalk their prey. Some of the animals in Samburu, they tend to be smaller in size compared to other animals like uh, in other places like um, Masai Mara, uh, Amboseli, uh, Nakuru National Park. For one reason, we don't have that consistency of food or, or, the, or the food supply. They stay for a little bit longer than expected before they hunt. And then the harsh conditions on the other side of the northern Kenya makes it uh, one of the reasons why we have uh, them a little bit smaller in size. Even the lions in uh, the, the hotter regions in Kenya, they don't have those big manes that we can find in Masai Mara. Right? Because the heat also contributes to the growth of the mane. And even the bushes, as they walk around, some of the thorny bushes, we kind of like uh, will cut or shave those manes. With over 450 bird species, this is also a paradise for bird watchers. The vegetation here is a blend of river and forest, acacia trees, and hardy shrubs adapted to the semi arid conditions. The terrain of Samburu is rugged yet beautiful with rocky outcrops, sandy patches and rolling hills providing a dramatic backdrop to your safari experience. This landscape shapes the movements of both predators and prey, creating a dynamic, ever-changing ecosystem. After a long day of adventurous game drives under the heat of the sun, you need somewhere to rest. Samburu National Reserve offers a range of accommodation options and your tour consultants will guide you on the best choice depending on your preference. We got Samburu Sopper Lodge and we are entirely grateful for their great and amazing services. The Samburu experience is not complete without one more thing. So my name is Lektigai Benson. Uh -huh. This is now the Samburu village. Okay. This village is consisting of about 180 people uh -huh. and 22 families. Long time ago, mm -hmm. we live near the river, mm -hmm. but we moved, we came here. Mm -hmm. That's because we are, we are nomadic people. Yes. We do move from one place to another. Yes because of pasture mm -hmm. and water for the animals. Okay. Goats and sheep for the oh. whole family. Oh. Yeah. So these are the young ones. Okay. We put them here. Inside. Yeah. 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 What about the cows? The cows are not around now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The boys are with them. The mm. big mountain there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You see now something like uh -huh. surrounded by the stones. Yes. We call it something like a, a parliament. Oh, uh huh. It's a meeting place. All the men from the village, mm -hmm. the chief of the village, sometimes they call them. Mm -hmm. They light a fire in the middle of it. Mm. They sit down and then they, they have that discussion. The Samburu experience is not complete without a cultural visit that gives you a chance to meet the Samburu people and experience their vibrant traditions. That has been it from Travels with Mufasa and I have been your host Nyambura Kishamba. Mm -hmm.